the ocean. From above, a simple blanket of water, but below, a complex world full of color, life, and wonder. This is the coral reef, a timeless thing of beauty for all to enjoy. And yet, mankind's actions have destroyed over one quarter of the world's reefs. Please join me as we explore the fragile beauty of nature's underwater world. I will be your guide and your host. I'm Jean-Michel Cousteau. Coal, growing only a few centimeters a year, has taken millions of years to build the limestone skeleton of the reef. And though located in nutrient-poor waters, the coral has learned to thrive. But it hasn't done it alone. It has, it, it has developed an amazing relationship with algae, a tiny plant that lives inside the coral's body. This connection is delicate. <clears throat> this connection is delicate, and the introduction of additional nutrients can upset this balance, leaving the reef at risk. <clears throat> Little fish, I'm trying to make a documentary film. A film? A film? I've always wanted to be in a film. I was just explaining the delicate balance between coral and the algae living within its body. <laughs> algae living inside the coral's body. Come on, that's creepy. No, it isn't. <laughs> yes, it is. Isn't. Is. Isn't. Is. Isn't. Isn't. Whatever. No, it is not the whatever. It's true. How do you know? Are you a coral? I am Jean-Michel Cousteau. <laughs> the ocean all my life. I'm Dorie, and I practically live in the ocean. Good for you, but now I must continue to make my film. So long, Dory. Hey! Anemones also share a delicate connection with their inhabitants, the clownfish. Clownfish? Did somebody say clownfish? What now? Carlin, burrito, this is... Sorry, what was your name again? I'm Jean-Michel Cousteau. Arrêtez la musique! I was trying to talk about anemones. That's perfect, because this here is Mr. Anemone. Well, I don't know about that. Yeah, Dad, you know everything about anemone. Come on. Well, all right. Anemones are really like snails, except, no, no, snails is not. No. Oh, they're like a bed of stinging hair. Yes, a large bed of, no. Oh, imagine if spaghetti could talk. That's enough. If we remain silent, we may see the chameleon of the reef. The amazing cuttlefish. Did you want to see him change color? I, I, I can help. I can speak cuttlefish. Just can think. Can you please change color for us? No. I, There's Carrie. Hey, Care. Frederico. Myron. My man, Myron. Bermuda. Hey, Enid. Yolanda. Phyllis. Gary. Hey, Gary. Ça suffit. I'm trying to make a film here. Even the lovely Spanish dancer depends Did on... Did someone say dancing? <laughs> Let me talk. The ocean where you live evaporates to form clouds. The clouds produce snow. The snow melts, feeding rivers, irrigation, drinking water, then down drains through sewers, all back to the sea. Everyone, everywhere affects the ocean. Wow, amazing. Finally, you're listening. Yeah. Mr. Cousteau, Jean Michel, are you there? Where'd he go? I'm back, and I am fine. Can we get you something? Do you want a glass of water? Dad, why is that coral white? Well, you know when you get sick, you, you turn a little pale? Well, that's what coral does. It, it turns white. What happened to it? Well, as more humans use more energy, it creates more pollution. The resulting global warming increases the temperature of the ocean. When this happens, the coral cannot survive. Will it be okay? Well, Nemo, it won't be easy. People must learn to live in better balance with nature. Conserving energy, recycling, reducing pollution. But if we do all this, the ocean's temperature may lower, allowing the coral to flourish. In fact, tonight is the one magic night of the year. 
when healthy corals reproduce. There, it is happening. Ooh, oh. Ooh look at that. Whoa. Whoa. Amazing. Look at this. Happy birthday, coral. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy, happy birthday. Incredibly, the corals release their eggs in a single night so that even the hungriest fish cannot eat them all. What's it doing? Dad! Then you're a little older, son. As mankind's actions continue to damage and threaten the reef, we must take responsibility and change our behavior to protect and preserve it. For we are as connected to the planet as the corals are to the algae living within them. And just as we algae did... living inside coral? That's creepy! No, it is not! Yeah, it is! It isn't! It is! It is. is. No, it's normal! See, they work together. That's... Algae are plants that make food for the coral, and corals fertilize the algae. But when there's pollution, the coral can't get enough food from the algae. Look! Wow! Where... You guys know a lot about the reef! Well, it's not hard. You just have to pay attention and listen. Then why won't you listen to me? Oh, hi! Who are you? I am Jean-Michel Cousteau! <laughs> Upstage by fish. This would have never happened to Papa. Goodbye. I am Jean-Michel Cousteau. Keep exploring the reef with Jean-Michel Cousteau at oceanfutures.org.